Welcome to the old Lumens channel again. I'm uh, making a second uh, second copper pipe bomb <clears throat> and uh, co copper light and I thought I'd uh, just do a little video to show you what I've uh, done differently than the last one. This one is going to be using six AAA batteries uh, versus three C batteries so it'll be a shorter light. Uh, it's also going to be using a P60 drop-in. I, I happened to buy a, a, an empty P60 drop-in, you know, for like a buck and a half or a couple bucks, just to see what it was like and come to find out that uh, it will go inside a one-inch copper pipe and it will go in fairly snug, uh, so it'll be like a press fit. So I thought, what the heck, you know, I'll give it a try. I was trying to find a host to make a, a P60, so. Um, it's a SMO reflector, and I've done quite a bit with the heat sink. Uh, this is the pill, uh, the top end, of course, where the emitter is going to set. Um, and then what I did was I, I just started with copper uh, fittings. Uh, basically, these are all copper end caps. I started with uh, 3 8 I believe. Uh, half inch and this one is a three-quarter inside between that is is a copper coupling that was cut and and uh, brought down to fit inside as well so that there's not a lot of solder it's just solder is holding it all together but it's mainly copper it weighs a couple ounces I mean it's pretty heavy so hopefully it'll be a pretty good heat sink and um, I also had to make an outer sleeve out of some uh, uh, Oh, it's, it's a, somewhere around maybe 24 gauge or, or maybe even uh, uh, so thinner than that uh, um, copper sheet, a, a couple pieces of that uh, to get to where I'm going to be a tight fit uh, in that in that pipe. Okay, so the whole pipe will, will be a heat sink as well. <laughs> At least with this style, you're going to know when it gets hot because you won't be able to hold it very long. Uh, but hey, you know. Uh, I've put a uh, 105C uh, board on 2.8 amp um, and the modes are set to low medium high I don't like all that SOS kind of stuff uh, it's uh, Arctic Illumina is used to hold that in place uh, then I also put a copper plate on top of the spring for a contact point for the battery holder uh, so basically that's how that's all set up the uh, battery holder is uh, one I just got from Dorsey it's a 6 AAA, but it is done uh, in uh, 3S2P, so 3 in series, 2 in parallel. Uh, the nice thing about that, of course, is you know you, you get your 3.6 volt, but you get double your amperage. And using AAA batteries, which uh, if I use inner loops are only 800 MA, it doesn't hurt to have that, uh, that extra power, so it'll end up being 3.6 volt, 1600 MA. Uh, the the different thing about this is, of course, that this was dedicated Dorsey, uh, and the positive pin, you know, is up top where you would expect, but the negative ring is also up top, and that's not going to work for me. But the other nice thing about these Dorseys, besides being a very, you know, hefty holder, well-made holder, um, the, that whole contact plate is is screwed in. So I removed the two screws and found that all I had to do was rotate that contact plate 180 degrees, screw it back in, and I no longer touch on top. So that is, is just there, you know, it's not negative anymore. And the, the negative rail goes all the way down to the other end. So I went ahead and just made a copper cap for my negative post and a wire and soldered the wire right straight into that negative rail. So now I have negative at the bottom and copper up top where I wanted it, and it'll work great inside that copper pipe. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the way I, I did the, the tail cap is basically the same thing that I did with the last copper uh, pipe bomb that I built. Uh, I've made three uh, uh, J cuts in here, okay, to hold the tail cap on. The tail cap has, has uh, three brass pins in it. I got a little alignment point right there and uh, it's not going to come up, you know, it's not going to come apart once it falls into that J channel. Okay. Um, the tail cap itself is a little bit different. 
I decided that I was going to do a McClicky. I had a, a couple McClickies that were uh, uh, sent to me by a friend, um, and I wanted to go ahead and try one out. So uh, the best thing I could come up with was a half a half inch uh, copper coupling, which is a little bit smaller ID than the OD of this McClicky. Well, I went ahead and, and, and took the McClicky apart and, and sanded down the threads so it would fit tight, real tight press fit inside that, that copper, uh, half inch copper coupling. Cut the coupling so it's the right height to where when the McClicky goes in place, the metal contact plate will actually rub up against, touch up against that, that copper coupling. So I soldered the coupling inside down there, drilled my holes and everything, and uh, took a, a tall socket and press fit that McClicky right in through. Okay, works pretty good. Um, then I wanted to be able to still tail stand this and with just this being just a one inch copper coupling would be sort of hard to do so I went ahead and took a one inch or a one inch copper end cap I took a one inch copper coupling and soldered it right to the end cap so I can still tail stand it all right and the the, the pins that lock into the J channels are brass uh, they're one eighth inch brass rod cut them down drilled the holes and put them through the copper uh, end cap and soldered them from the inside okay actually soldered them right through so the solder would suck right up and, and go through the, the hole and then tighten it up so they're nice and snug in there and uh, I mean that's basically that's it like I say it uh, it uh, fits just like the uh, the other copper one that I did I've polished it up a little bit. I'll probably work on it a little bit more to polish, uh, but that's that'll be my uh, 6AAA uh, P60 uh, drop-in light. And this uh, lens is a little glass uh, photographic lens, uh, photogra photographic filter, and I just took it right out of the housing, and it'll fit straight on top of that uh, that P60 drop-in, same diameter. So it'll fit right on top of that, and I'll probably just adhere that. And the drop-in will set in, you know, recess in just a hair, and so will the lens. The lens isn't totally exposed. It'll be set down in a little bit. So, uh, anyways, that's the idea. Just, uh, some, you know, something else and unique to sort of play around with. Thanks for watching.